हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस सी एम एस टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी पेपर वन एंड पेपर वन विल बी कवर्ड इन द टू पार्ट्स सो हेयर वी विल कवर सिक्सटी क्वेश्चन इन द नेक्स्ट पार्ट वी विल कवर द अनदर सिक्सटी क्वेश्चन सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज अ क्रॉनिक एल्कोहलिक डेवलप्स अ पारोक्सीजोम ऑफ पालपिटेशन आफ्टर द एल्कोहल बिंज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग अरिदमिया इज मोस्ट लाइकली सो इन द केस ऑफ द एल्कोहलिक द मोस्ट कॉमन अरिदमिया विच अकर आफ्टर द एल्कोहल बिंज इज द एटिल फिब्रिलेशन and in normal condition uh, it can be a ventricular fibrillation but in the case of the alcoholics it is atrial fibrillation second question an elderly male with the history of the diabetes mellitus and the coronary artery disease come for the follow up with the complaint of muscle pain so uh, if the case of the coronary artery disease which uh, a person take any drug and then it uh, he comes with the complaint of the muscle pain so the most common uh, most likely drug will be atorvastatin because statins will lead to the statin associated muscle pain so this is also called as the sams so here the answer will be atorvastatin a 40 year old lady comes to the outdoor clinic with the complaints of the sudden onset chest pain the chest x ray show the bilateral pneumothorax examination reveal the abnormality of the body habitus including the long arm legs and the finger so uh, the hint is given that long long arms are there legs and the fingers so directly we can go for the marfan syndrome because these are the characteristics of the marfan syndrome and in the marfan syndrome there is the defect in the fibrillin one and it will lead to the skeletal cvs and systemic involvement so answer here will be marfan syndrome all the following are the indication of the treadmill testing tmt or exercise testing except so treadmill test is used to uh, confirm the diagnosis of angina so this uh, first option is correct to evaluate the stable angina this is also correct and to assess the outcome after the coronary revascularization this is also correct but it is not used for the treatment efficacy of the anti anginal drugs so here the answer will be four because it is not correct so tmt is not used in the case of the for the treatment efficacy of the anti anginal drugs a small sign is present in all the following conditions except so a small sign is present in various conditions such as the constrict uh, constrictive pericarditis severe uh, tricuspid stenosis massive pulmonary embolism restrictive cardiomyopathy and right ventricular infarction but it is not present in the case of case of the hocm hypertrophic cardiomyopathy so answer here will be hocm or uh, answer c hypertrophic cardiomyopathy so normally we know that the uh, with the inspiration jvp decreased by 3 mm but in the uh, kusmol sign is the uh, increase in the jvp with respiration and it is present in certain conditions that we have mentioned already next question which of the following is not a common cause of the atrial fibrillation so uh, we know that the mitral regurgitation can lead to the atrial fibrillation hypertension can also lead to mitral fibrillation uh, atrial fibrillation and acute myocardial infarction also can but hypothyroidism do not lead to the atrial fibrillation instead hyperthyroidism will lead to the increase in the bmr and increase in the atrial fibrillation so answer here will be hypothyroidism which will not lead to the atrial fibrillation in ecg recording p wave is produced by this is very easy question and we know that the p wave is uh, occur p wave is present due to the atrial depolarization or atrial systole we can say then uh, qrs is for the ventricular systole or ventricular depolarization and t is for the ventricular repolarization so next time uh, other can be asked here the answer will be p wave atrial depolarization answer a which of the following modalities is not used for the treatment of ventricular tachycardia so we know that the in the ventricular tacho, tachycardia dc cardioversion can be given in the case of the unstable patient if the patient is unstable then dc cardioversion can be given injection lignocaine is also given in the vt and injection amiodarone is also given in the case of the vt but but injection adenosine it is not given in the case of the vt instead it is given in the case of the psvt so for psvt the specific drug is the injection adenosine it is not given in the case of the vt next question which of the following is the direct renin inhibitor so uh, this is very easy question uh, the only direct renin inhibitor which we study is the aliskaren lisinopril is the ace inhibitor azelsartan is the arb and benedipine 
is calcium channel blocker so here the direct channel inhibitor is the ellis karen next question which of the following are the cause of the systolic hypertension with the wide pulse, uh, pulse pressure except so pulse pressure is the systolic bp minus diastolic bp and in the case of the aortic regurgitation there is a wide uh, pulse pressure in thyrotoxicosis also there is a wide pulse pressure in patent ductus arteriosus also there is a wide pulse pressure but in the case of the aortic stenosis they have the narrow um, pulse pressure so answer here will be a aortic stenosis because here the uh, pulse pressure will be narrow next question signet ring sign on the ct chest is a suggestive of is a direct question and the answer is bronchiectasis in bronchiectasis uh, we know that uh, is associated with the kartnagar syndrome in which we can see the sinusitis bronchiectasis and the situs inverters and the ct scan we can show the uh, we can see the signaling appearance so answer here will be bronchiectasis oral corticosteroids are best introduced in the treatment of chronic bronchial asthma when it is so uh, oral steroids are not normally used in the case of the asthma but uh, when the asthma is not treated with the low dose uh, in inhalational corticosteroids and the laba then the la last resort is the oral corticosteroids so here we can say that the when the uh, asthma is very severe and persistent and it is not uh, controlled by the uh, long acting beta uh, beta agonist and the high uh, high ICS then we can uh, give the oral corticosteroids so answer here will be D very severe persistent asthma an 18 year old male has the insulin dependent diabetes with malabsorption syndrome so here the malabsorption syndrome is present and the bilateral upper lobe bronchiectasis so bilateral upper lobe bronchiectasis is generally related with the uh, cystic fibrosis and also malabsorption syndrome is also related with the cystic fibrosis uh, so uh, our diagnostic workup will include all except so for cystic fibrosis we will do the fat uh, estimation 24 hour fecal fat estimation ct chest is also done and dna sequencing study is also done where we have to find the uh, cftr mutation and p508 um, mutation so here uh, the answer will be lung biopsy which is not generally done in the case of the cystic fibrosis which of the following antigen is commonly associated with the uh, causation of the farmer's lung so farmer's lung is generally associated with the actinomycetes and uh, the specific is the thermophilic actinomycetes and it is a uh, it, it will lead to the hypersensitive hypersensitivity pneumonitis so answer here will be actinomycetes gene expert test used for the MTB detection has the additional advantage of detection of which of the following so gene expert or the CV not both will give the result in less than two hours and it uh, the additional advantage is the rifampicin resistance so if there is a rifampicin resistance then we can find it by the gene expert or the CV not the most common cause of the chronic type 2 respiratory failure is so for type 2 respiratory failure uh, type 2 respiratory failure the trick is the COPD C for the central causes such as, uh, such as the uh, absence of the respiratory drive and O for the COPD P for the peripheral uh, muscle weakness and D for the diaphragmatic injury so uh, here the answer will be severe COPD it will lead, COPD will lead to the type 2 respiratory failure in type 2 respiratory failure PaO2 decrease but PaCO2 increase and the treatment for the type 2 respiratory failure is the oxygen plus bronchodilators and steroids and BPAP which is a non-invasive uh, ventilation so these are the treatment for the type 2 respiratory failure so answer here will be B the most frequent symptoms in the respiratory disease is in uh, any respiratory disease the most common symptom most frequent or the most common symptoms are two one is cough and second is the dyspnea so answer can be both uh, cough and the dyspnea so here uh, the best answer will be cough but breathlessness is also a most, uh, most frequent symptom 18 a 26 year old lady attends medical emergency and is labeled as, as an acute severe asthma 
also acute severe asthma nowadays is known as the uh, status asthmaticus by the emergency physician which of the following is unlikely to be the part of the prescription so in the case of the status asthmaticus we have to give the o shit plus m o o shit means oxygen salbutamol hydrocortisone thiophylline or the aminophylline and m for mgso4 which is the last resort so here uh, we can give uh, albuterol in the uh, place of the salbutamol this is true and aminophylline can also be given and magnesium sulfates are also given but uh, anti leukotrienes which are the monte leucast and the jaffe leucast are generally not given in the case of the status asthmaticus because they are generally a slow acting drugs and in the case of the acute severe asthma or the um, attack of uh, status asthmaticus we do not prefer the anti leukotrienes so answer here will be b anti leukotrienes consider the following statement with the regard to the respiratory examination so for the respiratory examination change in the note when the patient phonates is characteristics of the interstitial fibrosis no this is seen in the case of the consolidation which is seen in the pneumonia so when uh, when the change in the note when the patient phonates e e e which is also called as the egophony is seen in the case of the consolidation of the pneumonia so first option is wrong whispered pectoralloquy is uh, characteristics of the lung consolidation this is true monophonic wheeze is characteristic of asthma uh, this is not true and hyper resonant note is per- on the percussion is seen in the uh, pneumothorax this is also true so here first and third option are wrong and second and fourth option are true so answer will be 2 and 4 only b option all the following are the cause of the exudative pleural effusion except so we know that the exudative pleural effusion causes will include all the infections cancers or malignancy rheumatic diseases git diseases and pulmonary embolization and transudative will inclu- uh, in, uh, include the diseases which are related to the heart liver and kidney so here uh, it is asked which are uh, all the following are ex- exudative except so mix syndrome which is related to the cancer will be the exudative pleural effusion sle rheumatic disease is also lead to the exudative and fungal infection infection will lead to the pleur- uh, exudative but svc obstruction will not lead to the exudative it will lead to the transudative uh, pleural effusion so answer here will be a svc obstruction which of the following is not true about the grhelin so grhelin is released from the gr cells of the fundus of the stomach and grhelin is uh, related to the increase in the stum- uh, stimulation of the appetite this is true it will lead to increase in the acid secretion this is also true and fasting increase its secretion yes grhelin is increase in the case of the fasting uh, in the case of the fasting so answer here will be b it decrease the gastric emptying this is not true grhelin will increase the gastric emptying fecal elastic test is used to diagnose which of the following condition so fecal elastic test is not used for the lactose intolerance this is wrong mucosal inflammation this is also wrong bile acid secreted defects this is also wrong but uh, fecal elastic test is generally used for the pancreatic dysfunction so answer here will be d pancreatic dysfunction and the value less than 100 is diagnostic of the severe pancreatic exocrine insufficiency so value uh, is important which is less than 100 is uh, diagnostic of the severe pancreatic exocrine insufficiency a recent classification system used for the patient as a can, uh, as a candidate for the liver transplantation so earlier the childpook score is used but nowadays the mostly meld score is used which will include the component cbi creatinine bilirubin and inr so nowadays uh, meld is used and child uh, childpook score is generally used for the children's 24 blood supply of the liver consists of so we know that the blood supply in the liver is generally uh, mainly mainly from the 80% portal vein and 20% from the hepatic artery so answer b will be there uh, 80% portal vein and the 20% hepatic artery 
ऑल द फॉलोइंग कंडीशन आर असोटेड विद द ग्लोमरुलो नेफराइटिस विथ लो कॉम्प्लीमेंट लेवल एक्सेप्ट सो इन सब एक्यूट बैक्टीरियल एंडोकॉर्डाइटिस विच विल लीड टू द पी एच जी एन एंड विच विल लीड टू द डिपोजिशन ऑफ द सी थ्री सो हेयर द सी थ्री विल डिक्रीज सो लो कॉम्प्लीमेंट विल बी सीन इन द केस ऑफ द फर्स्ट विच इज़ रिलेटेड टू द पी एच जी एन इन द आई जी एन एफ्रोपैथी जनरली डिपोजिशन ऑफ द आई जी एज सीन इन द मैसेजियम सो वेन द आई जी एज डिपोजिट इन द मैसेजियम देर इज़ नो इफेक्ट ऑन द सी थ्री लेवल्स सो सी थ्री लेवल्स आर जनरली नॉर्मल इन द केस ऑफ द आई जी एन एफ्रोपैथी सो आंसर हेयर विल बी आई जी एन एफ्रोपैथी इन केस ऑफ द एस एल ई एंड क्रायोग्लोबलोनीमिया ऑल्सो सी थ्री डिपोजिट्स आर देयर सो सी थ्री विल डिक्रीज बट इन द केस ऑफ आई जी एन एफ्रोपैथी देर इज नो इट इज नॉट नॉट एसोसिएट विद द डिपोजिशन ऑफ द सी थ्री सो सी थ्री विल बी नॉर्मल विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट विद रिगार्ड टू द ओरल एथस अल्सर दे आर सुपरफिशियल एंड पेनफुल यस दिस इज ट्रू एंड दे मे बी दे मे अकर इन द वुमेन जस्ट प्रायर टू मैस्ट्रेशन दिस इज ऑल्सो ट्रू ओरल ग्लूकोकॉटिकोइड्स मे बी नीडेड फॉर द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ द सीवियर रिकरेंट केसेस दिस इज ऑल्सो ट्रू दे आर द प्री मेलिग्नेंट नो दे आर नॉट प्री मेलिग्नेंट दे जनरली रिजॉल्व दे आर स्पॉन्टेनियसली रिजॉल्व ऑन देयर ओन एंड दे ऑफन डू नॉट नीड एनी ट्रीटमेंट एंड दे आर नॉट रिलेटेड टू द कैंसर दे आर नॉट प्री मेलिग्नेंट कंडीशन सो आंसर विल बी वन टू थ्री ओनली फोर्थ ऑप्शन इज रॉन्ग विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स अबाउट द बेरेट्स एसो फिगर्स इज नॉट करेक्ट सो इट इज़ अ प्री मेलिग्नेंट कंडीशन यस वी नो दैट द बेरेट्स एसो फिगर्स इज अ मेटाप्लेजिया विच कैन लीड टू द डिस्प्लेजिया देन फाइनली इट विल लीड टू द कैंसर सो इट इज़ अ प्री मेलिग्नेंट कंडीशन दिस इज ट्रू नॉर्मल स्क्वेम सेल लाइनिंग द लोअर इसो फेगर्स आर लाइन बाय द कॉल्यूमिनर एपिथीलियम नो दिस इज ऑल्सो ट्रू बिकॉज द मेटाप्लेजियम इन द इन द केस ऑफ द बैरेट इसो फेगर्स इज द रिप्लेसमेंट ऑफ द स्क्वेमर सेल्स इन द लोअर पार्ट ऑफ द इसो फेगर्स बाय द कॉल्यूमिनर सेल्स ऑफ द इंटेस्टाइन विच इज ऑल्सो कॉल द इंटेस्टाइनल मेटाप्लेजियम third option normal columnar cell lining the lower esophagus are replaced by the squamous no this is not true this is seen in the case of the lungs but not seen in the case of the esophagus so this option is incorrect which of the following cause the acute hepatitis outbreak in india so for the acute hepatitis outbreak in india the most common cause is the hepatitis e also it will lead to the fulminant hepatitis in the case of the pregnancy so For India, it is uh, hepatitis E for the acute hepatitis outbreaks. A spontaneous esophageal perforation up after the bouts of the forceful vomiting or retching is characteristic seen in which of the following conditions? So uh, this is a direct question. Here it is given that the esophageal per perforation is present. So esophageal perforation is present in the case of the Boer half syndrome, and in this we can see the macular stride which include the CVS. chest pain vomiting and the subcutaneous emphysema which uh, which occur after the esophageal perforation so answer here will be borough syndrome uh, eradication of the heli uh, helicobacter pylori infection may prove beneficial in the following extra gastric disorder except so um, eradication of the s pylori is important for Uh, in the case of the unexplained vitamin B12 deficiency, yes, because S. pylori infection will lead to the damage to the parietals and it will finally lead to the de uh, deficiency of the vitamin B12. So it is uh, uh, the it is beneficial uh, eradication of the S. pylori is beneficial in the case of the unexplained vitamin B12 deficiency. It is also important in the case of the idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura and iron deficiency anemia without the gastric gastrointestinal bleeding. But this is not uh, important for the acute glomerular nephritis because uh, H. pylori are nowhere related to the acute glomerular nephritis. So answer here will be acute glomerular nephritis.